Hey guys, today we're going to talk about mail cards. I'm using this one as an example, but you can pick any amount of mail cards consuming operation, which was probably one of the most common cards. I believe it was in the one of the intro decks is now pricey. Anytime you have a card that can mill, you have to take a hard look at it. So I'm looking at Altar of the Brood. That's an interesting one. But this card has recently spiked Mesmeric Orb. So it is an artifact from Meriden. One of the reasons it has spiked is because there's not that many copies of it out there. The second reason is a semi-tier 2 modern playable mill deck, maybe. And it's 1150. So if you have any of these copies, and I actually didn't realize when I saw this card, I was like, yeah, I have a few copies of that in my random bulk binder. Well, it's not bulk anymore, especially the foil copies. I believe I have a few copies of the foil, and it, it's just so random that this is a $30 foil and $1150 non-foil. Because, like, I remember back in the day when you this was draft shaft, meaning when people were done drafting, they would leave this card around, and you could, if you wanted to, pick these rares and these cards up on the table because most people didn't feel like they would ever have value. But when you look at a mill card, take a second look at it. Because it might be an $11.50 card in a few years. Bye.